I'm up millions of votes on Cruz. Millions. I don't mean like I'm up by two votes. I'm up millions and millions of votes. I'm up by hundreds and hundreds of delegates. I go to Louisiana. I win Louisiana. And I say, isn't that beautiful? I love the people. I send them a note. Thank you very much. I love you, Louisiana. Then I find out that I get less delegates than Cruz because of some nonsense going on. Well, it's Team Fox coverage and all this. Ed Henry's on the bruising primary between uh, Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton. We begin, though, with senior national correspondent John Roberts live in Albany, New York. And John, Donald Trump holds another rally there today. Uh, even though no primary over the weekend, uh, there was a battle for delegates. What happened? There was, and Donald Trump is on the warpath now, Bill, against the delegate selection process after Ted Cruz came out of Colorado with all the delegates that he could have found. He took home 34 delegates at district and the state conventions. Uh, Colorado did not hold a presidential primary, didn't even have a presidential preference vote during its caucuses. This all has Donald Trump very upset, tweeting yesterday, quote, the people of Colorado had their votes taken away from them by phony politicians. The biggest story in politics, this will not be allowed. This all has many people wondering if Donald Trump isn't preparing for a revolution at the convention. Listen to what he told people at a huge rally in Rochester yesterday afternoon. They're taking your vote away. They're disenfranchising people that want to see America be great again. And politicians will never do it. They don't want to do it. They can't do it because their, their lobbyists and special interests are saying, we're not going to let you do it. It's no good. And we've got to change the system. I say this to the RNC and I say it to the Republican Party. You're going to have a big problem, folks, because there are people that don't like what's going on. We got this response from the Cruz campaign this morning. Spokeswoman Alice Stewart saying the whining is more sour grapes from Trump, who continues to lash out in tantrums every time he loses. But you can see, Bill, that Trump is very upset. The question is, how far is he going to carry this? Well, we heard over the weekend from a delegate wrangler for Trump who had some pretty sharp language. What was said, John? Yeah, yeah Paul Manafort is the guy who won uh, the, con the uh, convention for. Uh, Gerald Ford back in 1976 on the first vote. He is going to be running Donald Trump's convention strategy, appearing on one of the Sunday shows. Had some very harsh words for how Ted Cruz is winning delegates, some of them from Trump. Listen. You think he's threatening delegates? Well, he's threatening that there, you go to these county conventions and you see the, tac the Gestapo tactics, the scorched earth tactics. Gestapo tactics? Yeah, they are. That's a strong word. Well, you look at, so you, we're going to be filing several protests because the reality is they are not p playing by the rules. Gestapo tactics, very strong words from Paul Manafort, bolstered to some degree by a tweet that was sent out on the Colorado GOP's Twitter feed right after Cruz came away with all those delegates. The tweet said, quote, we did it, hashtag never Trump. That tweet was almost immediately deleted and followed by this one saying, quote, the last tweet was the result of an unauthorized access to our account in no way represents the opinion of the party we are investigating. But for conspiracy theorists, Bill, and there are a lot of them out there when it comes to Donald Trump, they're looking at that saying, hmm, were people disenfranchised? We'll let you know what the results of the investigation are when the Colorado GOP completes uh, it. Bill? Check the IP address. Thank you. John Roberts in Albany, New York. Abby. Yeah.